that'll make a better video of T-Max nitro converted to a lipo for you guys to enjoy because I know I like these things so uh, as I said before these are anodized sorry they were anodized blue but now they have uh, like this candy color um, powder coating uh, this is the Savix I believe it's the Savix 4096 cordless uh, digital servo this is a 3D printed receiver box very good actually uh, I'm using the 80 amp versus EDC combination with the Raystar 4 poles and I believe we're going to see if it's still, yeah, 3660 or 2600 kV motor uh, using the combination of this I'm not sure about the rating of the pinion I'll have to get back to you guys on that on the comment or description uh, I really wanted to put some LEDs so these are adjustable LEDs so what I did was I soldered the positive and negative for the white one and I soldered the positive and negative for the red one. Uh, that being said, that's how I got the, the red tail lights and the white tail lights. And for the blue underglow, uh, I have the same thing going on there, so you guys can see. It's held on to the brace from both sides. And, uh, that's how it gives it this nice look. I'm sure, you know, it's not waterproof. But I did this for testing purposes and I think it was just okay. Uh, I don't go into water with my rigs anyways. I just go, you know, in dirt or night riding and stuff like that. And this is like a 3D printed uh, lipo holder. Uh, just you know got a got a strap right there so the speed run you guys or not speed run you know just going up and down the street uh, there with this light pole it's 3s and uh, it goes pretty fast man very very fast all right hold on let me turn off the lights so you guys can check it out at night how it look like and that's it I mean gives out a lot of light. You guys see everything is red there. Just for those two little LEDs. So that's the T Max.